are now tuned in. Cats Podcast. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Constant content. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that round of applause. Thank you for that round of applause. Thank you. It's Kyle's motherfucking podcast. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Episode 109. Feel me? It's a Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Hope everybody had a good Monday. You feel me? I hope you watched that episode and uh, learned something or something. Hope I put something in your brain that you didn't know. Um, so yeah, episode 109. Today, we're just going to get into a few little topics. Uh, I brought jotted some shit down. You know what I mean? Uh, breaking news. So we're going to touch on, you know what I'm saying, Devontae Adams definitely uh, got traded to the Jets. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's some, uh, I don't know if that's new news for y'all or if there's some bad news, good news, you feel me? But we all know he came from Green Bay. You know what I'm saying? He was, uh, Aaron Rodgers was throwing to him before. He backed on to the Devontae Adams, you know what I mean? He We, we all seen he been wanting to get up out the Raiders. You know what I'm saying? He finally made that move. They finally made that move for him. So Devontae Adams is now uh being traded to the Jets. That happens as of this morning. Breaking news. Um, so shout out to Devontae Adams on to the Jets. Uh back with Aaron Rodgers. The guy, he may be in a huddle and he'll he'll tell you in a two minute situation at the end of the game, you know, forty six seconds left in the game, and they'll say, Hey Tay or Garrett, you know, like you remember back in twenty twenty two when I you know, we ran, we got that one look and you didn't look quick enough. Like I need you I need you just to get your eyes around quick. So, you know, <laughs> Filing that away in your in your in your uh, memory bank, dealing with the elephant Aaron Rodgers, yeah. you got to uh, you got to be able to recall and, and correct the you know some of those mistakes. Devontae, I think you missed him. How could you not? <laughs> you know, how could you not? Just hearing you talk about him, it's an amazing thing that I just I just oh, think yeah, you just him. like in the video you seen, that was Devontae Adams talking about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the upcoming shit. I don't know if that was recent, new, or if it was old, but it's definitely in relation to him being traded to the Jets, though. Talk about how he liked being, uh, you know what I'm saying, he, uh, with Aaron Rodgers. She was saying how she, telling him how he missed him, you know, and he could do nothing but smile at that and say, how could you not? You know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers is a fucking legend. Um, should be pretty dope, him throwing to Devontae Adams out there now. Yeah. So, yeah. But now that I talked about that, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going. I just wanted to jump into that real quick. But let's go over the shits we're going to talk about today. Since I done already covered that real quick. That was breaking news this morning. Uh, next, I'm going to cover John Lynch. We're going to talk about that. He talked to Robert Saylor after Saylor got fired from the Jets. Uh, Eminem daughter revealed sex for the baby. What it is going to be. Um, Drake being trolled by a bunch of Kendrick fans in the comments with recent pictures that he posted. Uh, Biden is sending a hundred troops to Israel after Israel said, don't you niggas get involved? And Biden is sending troops over there, <laughs> ignoring what if fuck Iran said, he don't give a fuck. City troops. Uh, North Korea blew up a road that's connecting North Korea and South Korea. So that's topics we're going to touch on today. I already touched on the first one. You know what I mean? Put the video up and all that shit. Wasn't even going to my introduction yet, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was breaking news this morning, as we talked about already. Devontae Adams traded to the Jets. Uh, John Lynch and Robert Saylor, uh, they just, it just said that they have been in talks. John Lynch is the, you know, staff on the Niners, one of the owners, one of the niggas that make the moves on the Niners. And he has been talking to Robert Saylor since the Jets have fired him. Robert Saylor used to be our defensive coach. He is the reason that the Niners defense is what it is today. Uh, a lot of these other defensive coordinators have came along and just tried to really wrap their hands around the blueprint that's already kind of there that Robert Saylor has already kind of blueprinted for us on our defense. So now we're talking to him about possibly coming back and I take him back. I love Robert Saylor. Robert Saylor is a dope defensive coordinator. Uh, he has a very dope defensive mind and I think he goes great with Kyle Shanahan's offensive mind. Uh, I think the two together is pretty, pretty dope. I think they got, they had, still had shit to work on when Robert Saylor left, but you know, Robert Saylor had a full 
coaching position with the Jets to where he was the head coach. So I get it. I understand. But from a fan point of view, he was the best defensive coordinator I think that we had. You feel me? Uh, no disrespect to uh, Storenson or whatever the new guy's name is. He's pretty cool, too. But he's working, implementing his steps and what he does on defense into the defense that was already there. So that's you see a lot of different things going on in our defense, a lot of different different plays, a lot of different things that we're doing, but that's because we got a new coordinator, and we're hoping to get Robert Saylor back. That'd be dope, being that the Jets fired him, so we'll definitely take him along. If he's looking for a job, you feel me, you can definitely come over here for sure. Um, Eminem daughter. So last couple episodes ago, you know what I'm saying, I talked about how Eminem had his daughter was having a baby and i put the little video up about him uh, revealing her revealing to him with the jersey and then him showing the sonogram at the camera and that big mouth drop he did you know what i'm saying when she was announcing to him that she's pregnant uh so she just announced the gender um, in uh, this video three two one i hope that showed it was blue it's a boy it's a boy we're so excited too evan was when we found out, Evan was like, they're going to haunt with me. They're going to go golfing with me. I've got a little buddy. I was like, okay, well, they're still going to Target with me. <laughs> so, whether, whether it was a girl or a boy. Yeah, regardless. I would have made them do that, but. Yeah. Or hope they would want to do it at least. Yeah. And then we had that little discussion after two where you're like, hopefully they actually like the things yeah. I like. <laughs> like, yeah, you really can't. So what you just seen was her popping that balloon. You seen it was blue. Uh, he is now, they are now uh, mother and father of a new baby boy. You know what I'm saying? Got a little young Eminem in the game. Um, yeah, that's dope for them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she, she just got married to him. Uh, Eminem was very emotional about their wedding and about her and all that. If you've seen the video of his song called Temporary, it's all about him and his daughter, old vid video footages of him and his daughter, him talking to his daughter, just a bunch of old times, really dedicated to his daughter. Uh, she even said that she cried after watching it on her little podcast, which is the clip that you just seen. Um, it's from her podcast called uh, A Little Shady or something like that. A Little Taste of Shady, A Little Shady, something like that is called. I haven't watched it yet. I would tune in just because it's Eminem's daughter and I'm such a Eminem fan. I like to see what type of shit she be talking about on there. Um, I'm going to check it out one of these days. But yeah, I think it's called A Little Shady Podcast. You know what I mean? Check that out on YouTube. Yeah, so Drake, Drake, uh, Man, he posted a pic. I guess it was Adonis' birthday, SpongeBob themed party. He posted these pictures right here on Instagram. As you see him posing with Adonis, um, and he posted these pics with his niggas. You know what I'm saying? About nine niggas in this picture. You know what I mean? Um, the kid is turning seven. It's his seventh birthday party. Uh, you got all your niggas there. You got one nigga throwing up the middle finger, and this is at a seven year old's party. You got niggas throwing up gang shit. Your little OVO signs and shit. It's just ratchet. I don't know. I've been I've been at all my kids' birthday parties. You feel me? Every one of them. And not one time have I said, have I let alone invited all my niggas. If they was to show up though, we're not gonna take a gang affiliated pick <laughs> at my son's party when he turned 11. You feel me with some SpongeBob background backdrop behind me. You feel me? And I'm throwing up <laughs> I'm throwing up gay shit. I got my nigga at the bottom of me giving the bird to the camera. <laughs> Niggas is me mugging this shit. <laughs> Yo, so you know the Kendrick fans had a field day in the comments. You feel me? Especially I guess one of these niggas is Baka. Baka not not cool. Baka not nice. Baka not okay, whatever his name is. You know what I'm saying? I the Drake, the Kendrick fans had a field day in the comment section. Everybody was hitting them with the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? You know what I mean? It's a bunch of niggas just trolling them, man. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people saying that Kendrick got Drake uh doing this wild ass shit, showing his son and shit, because you know what I mean, he was making claims that he wasn't being a father and all that. 
So now he's going crazy with all of a sudden we see Drake with his kid, bunch of pics and shit since that. So, you know, it ain't, it's clear that the shit is affecting Drake. Uh, definitely affected him. Definitely hurt his pride a little bit for show, especially since Kendrick is performing at the Super Bowl and it's not in um it's not a OVO young money artist uh which was Lil Wayne and I talked about that too posted a video with Lil Wayne uh, apologizing or, or not apologizing but sad that he didn't make the performance to perform for the Super Bowl being that it is in Louisiana and Lil Wayne felt entitled that he should be the guy to perform when rumor has it that Lil Wayne is a horrible performer uh that's just the word going around on the streets I seen him one time in my entire life perform and it was all right I seen him when he back in the day when he went on the tour with T-Pain it was cool I mean I don't know but the videos and shit I seen with Lil Wayne performing is not good I say that much the videos that's been being put out there so I don't know I'm hyped to see Kendrick perform and I hope he performs not like us at the motherfucking Super Bowl I also heard Drake was trying to cease and desist that trying to get him to not play not like us under who the fuck is you to say nigga you can't play this song like huh i think drake head has gotten real swollen and he thinks he runs the whole industry to where you can stop a nigga from playing his own fucking song at the super bowl i don't know how that's gonna work. i don't think that flew too well i don't think it's gonna fly at all i don't think it's gonna happen uh i think we definitely gonna hear not like us at the super bowl i'd be surprised if we don't um yeah so k dot fans definitely trolling them all in the comments and shit since he took pics with his niggas throwing shit up and all that type of shit at a seven year old's birthday party weird shit you know i don't know moving funny to me you know what i'm saying like i said i'm not gonna pose with my niggas nine of them at that in a pic with a spongebob backdrop <laughs> posing in front the spongebob backdrop Throwing a middle finger up and throwing your little gang up is diabolical as fuck to me. <laughs> oh no, that's just it just it just seemed <laughs> ill minded. Oh no, like this nigga turned at seven. Like you got nine niggas with you at the. All right, next uh, subject. <clears throat> um, Biden. So last video I talked about Iran. How they talking about? You know what I'm saying? We at this war and shit. Don't get involved, niggas. You know what I'm saying? You get involved with this leadership between us and Israel and, and the Middle East and shit. Iran, Gaza, Beirut. Uh, yeah, lead this shit to us. Don't get involved. So Biden, I don't know if he heard that message, but it seems as if he did not. Because this nigga's definitely sending a hundred troops. You feel me? This nigga sending a hundred troops, as you can see in this video right here. They talk all about defense system to Israel and deploying 100 U.S. troops to operate it. The system is intended to help Israel fend off any future attacks from Iran. Let's bring in ABC's Matt Gutman. He's live from Tel Aviv tonight. Matt, what more are you learning about this new development? Rachel, the Pentagon is saying a clear message with this deployment that it's working in lockstep with Israel to help it fend off any additional possible Iranian ballistic missile strike and that it's working with Israel to help it calibrate its response to that historic ballistic missile strike from October 1st. Over 180 bus sized missiles fired into Israel and more of those missiles penetrating Israel's air defenses than many here expected. One reason that Israel has vowed such a ferocious response. Now I'm told it'll be at least, at least four days before that missile battery is operational. And remember, Rachel, those 100 troops are just a fraction of the total of 40,000 U.S. troops operating in the Middle East right now. But this is the first time that U.S. troops will be on the ground and operational in Israel since just after October 7th. And it's happening as this conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is intensifying. Hezbollah launching more attacks today than in any day since the war began, including a drone attack just about 30 miles from where we are right now, in which Israel says about 70 people were wounded, Rachel. As you reported, Matt, this will be the first time that U.S. troops will be on. The so 100 troops is coming with this, as you've seen, the THAAD defense system that he's sending over to Israel. And he's sending apparently 100 troops that is going to take for to operate these defense systems. Uh Regardless of Iran saying don't get involved, Biden said fuck that nigga, I'm getting involved, we're gonna have Israel back, 
fuck what y'all talking about which is just stirring the pot and brewing the war as election day is approaching you feel me yo so yeah if you like this content hit that subscribe button hit the share button like this shit comment on this shit all that shit if you fucking with cons podcast and you fuck with the constant content be sure to subscribe let's get back to, to the episode uh if y'all don't pay attention something goes down every time there's an election uh something in news politics something in uh something detrimental in the world happens something to where the next president got to come in and be the saving grace quote unquote you know what i'm saying i myself personally i don't vote i don't believe in that shit i think the shit don't fucking matter at all uh my personal beliefs i just don't believe it um i feel like and i say this shit all the time you know what i mean uh anybody that knows me have heard me say this shit before i feel like that when you're playing call of duty and they have between maps i mean between levels you know what i'm saying you can vote on the next map i just always have felt like my vote pushing the a button on that map is definitely carrying more weight than a vote that i would vote for for a president to take putting my vote on the ballot I just feel like as a black man at that in America, uh, I just don't feel like my vote for a president is really playing a factor here. I mean, and it's a bunch of vote going fucking people who praise the government and stand by them and think they for us and a bunch of people that think the government is fighting for you and 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 not and not going to weaponize shit against its people there's people out there that think that way that will tell me oh you should vote it's people like you that's why we don't have president that we want and blah, 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 because people like you don't vote but man look that shit matters none i don't give a fuck what nobody say that shit don't matter to me i feel like a president it's just nothing but the face of chaos that's it that's all it is it's somebody to blame for the bullshit that the government is going to be putting us to you know what i mean that's for sure the the gut the president don't even run shit you know what i'm saying there is a such thing as the shadow government you know for sure believe that your president takes orders yeah there is somebody on top of the president for sure I mean, I think us in America as citizens in this place governed by our government, I think we should know that. I think we should have that in our mind that the president is just the face of chaos, yo. I think we should implant that in our brains. I don't think that they're here for you. Not at all. Uh, I think they're there for themselves and their own families. I don't think they for the people not one bit, but this is my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Don't take that shit and run with it. This is how I feel as me lived, as I've lived my life in my skin, in my body, in my experiences. You know what I mean? So don't don't judge me. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I because I how I feel about motherfucking voting. You may be a right wingist thinker on voting. I don't, you may be for that. That's cool. That's cool, you feel me? That, But this is my platform. This is my body, my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how the fuck I feel when it comes to presidency, government, and and politics. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, how can we trust it? I mean, politics are known liars. You feel me? They're known to lie to you. This is like a fact about politicians. You know what I'm saying? They're known liars so with that being said how the fuck is we taking everything that they do and say when they talk about they love the people and they for us how the fuck is we taking that into consideration when these are coming from people who are known liars let alone they are professional liars I tell you you know what i mean they're professional at it at that so they know how to twist you manipulate you control your mind through various entertainment arts and forms of shit that we visually see it's called mk ultra you know what i mean that's something that was invented by the germans that was implemented into society you know and the cia adapted to it for sure uh by putting it in music putting it in video games putting it in uh, movies tv shows everything there's something speaking directly to your conscience you know your subconscious you feel me that's why there's certain shit that you know i was just talking about this recently you know paint the town red you feel me oh 
she the devil she a bad little bitch she the devil that song been stuck in my head i don't even know why i don't even like the bitch to sing the shit i'm not even into that type of music i don't listen to the radio that song ain't, ain't even been echoing around these parts like i haven't even heard the shit but it's just certain shit that gets stuck in your head because they understand a frequency you know and frequency is a whole nother shit that i can get into as uh detrimental to the world to us as human beings to 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 things around you uh yeah frequency is very uh key you know what i mean especially when there's when the, the people that run the society which is the government uh they steer society they have unlocked the access to tap in to your subconscious by using what we call elf they call elf that is an acronym for extreme low frequency so this is the same frequency that your brain operates thoughts on it operates downloads information on this is the same thing when you look at something you're able to your opticals tell your brain that's a curtain you feel me your opticals tell your brain that's blue you know that's the sun that's outside that's a dog that's a picture you know what i mean your eyes are downloading information to your brain and your brain uploads that information on a frequency called elf this is the same frequency that a lot of these music artists use a lot of these musical your favorite artists that you listen to they all understand this in the music industry and they all use that frequency for show it operates on the same bouncy tone that the same frequency as your brain operates on so that's why we get songs stuck in our motherfucking head that we don't know why the fuck is stuck there uh yeah it's because of elf uh yeah so biden just ignored iran he's sending these motherfuckers over there sending 100 troops he's gonna have troops on the ground have troops operating these stuff these defense systems to help them out since they're being bombarded with missiles and under uh shell attacks and all that then in other news we got other wars brewing around what the war that's already brewing which is north korea and south korea uh i ain't even know about this shit i just kind of got hip to this shit or kim jong you know they a nut ass nigga and he just came out and said you know we don't fuck with south korea period you know what i mean it's like i don't know man this shit came out of nowhere uh we all we knew that was funking but then it's like ice feeding off the israel and the the israel and iran you know what i'm saying conflict like he's he's feeding off of that shit and he's like wait a minute we 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 mad too we we want we want war too we funking too check this shit out you feel me boom look at this video So this was this nigga bombing the roads that connect North Korea and South Korea <laughs> like this nigga and they said it was an act of anger <laughs> that they called it this nigga bombed the roads that's connected North Korea and South Korea and said and said um, to completely separate the two countries <laughs> <laughs> nigga bomb the road so if you from north korea you want to go to south korea it ain't happening if you from south korea want to go to north korea it ain't happening as of this morning that shit is dead that nigga bomb that shit and it's over with there ain't no connected to the countries nigga, we are different we not the same that nigga kim jong man kim jong is a wild boy i think him and putin is the most gangster presidents i've ever seen in my life yo these niggas are thugs <laughs> These niggas is gangsters, yo. I ain't never seen a president talk so much as shit and stand on business <laughs> like Putin and motherfucking Kim Jong, yo. Them niggas is different. That's a fact, especially when it comes to this politics and this war shit. They will show you, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I got power too, nigga. Fuck the U.S. <laughs> Word, yeah. And then we got this coalition forming conspiracy. You know, this is just conspiracy. You feel me? Apparently, allegedly, 
uh, you know what I'm saying? Russia, China, uh, the French, um, Russia, China, the French, uh, and Korea. I think Korea might be involved. They like got some type of secret ally shit going on against the United States, though. You know, uh, this is conspiracy going around. This is shit that's been circulating that I've been seeing through the shit that I follow. Um, yeah, they, 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 they linking up, clicking up. You feel me? Then, and, and eventually, the end game is to go against the United States. Now, man. <laughs> Like I said, World War Three is brewing, yo. I hope y'all paying attention to this shit. All right, it's going on everywhere. You see North Korea, South Korea, they showing you they with the bombing shit too. Like we with the war shit too. Or you know what I'm saying? I don't feel it was a reason for them to, for him to blow up the fucking connecting roads and train lines <laughs> connecting North Korea and South. I just don't see it. But hey. I'm sure we had a reason to do that. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But, you know, yeah, that's all I got, though, for the day, though. You know what I'm saying? Devontae Adams got traded to the motherfucking jet. That's dope as fuck for Devontae Adams. He been talking about leaving the Raiders for a long time. He's a factor, and the Raiders just ain't doing it for him. Uh, John Lynch talked to Robert Saylor, you know, talked about that. Uh, Robert says Robert Saylor got fired. Hopefully, he come back over to the Niners, be our defensive coordinator. We'd love to have him back. I'm sure the fans won't mind. I'm sure the staff won't mind. I'm sure the players won't mind. Eminem daughter revealed she had a boy. Baby boy, her and her uh, husband, Haley J. Uh, Haley Jade and her husband um, revealed that they had a boy. Drake is being trolled. You know what I'm saying? By them pictures, these pictures and shit that he posted on Instagram. Why you got nine of your niggas at your son's birthday party throwing up gang signs and middle fingers with a, with a SpongeBob backdrop is fucking crazy. Um, Biden sending a hundred troops over to Israel to aid them and help them out. Even though Iran sent us warnings saying, "Don't get involved in this shit," nigga. Biden said, "I don't give a fuck. I'm sending troops anyway. Fuck your warning." And then North Korea blew up the roads connecting to South Korea. Just said because he don't want shit to do with them, and they want them to be completely fucking separate. And they about they about war war games and wartime when it come to the southern part of korea um yeah but it's episode 109 you feel me this is the third week of this edu you know what i'm saying that's every day uploading this is the third week in a row for that uh yeah you know what i'm saying yeah my youtube shit been growing i've been seeing it i took a picture of this graph right here this to show y'all elevation you know i boast about that shit i talk about that shit um and this is the proof of such. You feel me? This is my. This is a graph over a lifetime uh, since I first uploaded the video on YouTube, which was in 2011. It says November 6th, and to, since 2020, around the time when I was like, you know what, I'm finna start this podcast. It's been on the up, as you can see. You feel me? Ain't that 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 graph is showing you pure elevation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I also seen this little shit right here, this pic right here. YouTube, uh, as soon as I open YouTube on my phone, it shall be this shit, uh, committing them 500 subs. Um, um, I did Twisted Insane's motherfucking album review. Halfway gone. You feel me? And this nigga fucks with it. I love that shit. Um, yeah, he commented on it and said he subscribed. You feel me? Yeah. You see the pic? You know what I'm saying? 500. You know, been in my 500, said he subscribed to my shit. That's dope as fuck. That's dope as fuck to me because I am a Twisted Insane fan. So it's dope as fuck to have somebody subscribe to my channel. And I really thoroughly, on a daily basis, listen to that person's music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's dope as fuck. That was dope to, 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 to get that news this morning before I recorded this shit. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's kind of a podcast though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is episode 109, you feel me? 109 fucking episodes, you know what I'm saying? Thank all y'all for staying tuned with this shit. Um, yeah, thank y'all, those who have told someone and those who keep sharing my shit. Thank you. Uh, yeah, tell somebody about the shit, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, if you ride public transportation, you're on a train or something, you're on pub to the public train or you're on a public bus. In Frisco, we used to call the motherfuckers muni buses. You feel me? The muni bus. So if you catching the bus, going to school, going to work or something, wherever you're going, I know it's another motherfucker sitting next to you. You feel me? Pull out your phone. Open up Khan's podcast on it. You know, make sure the person sitting next to you can see that shit. You feel me? Don't hide it. You know what I'm saying? Open up the gate for them to ask. What's that? What you looking at? You feel me? Who is that? Yeah, and then you proceed to put Khan's podcast in their ear. You feel me? Tell them about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, it's Khan's motherfucking podcast, though. Uh, it's 1145. Motherfucking Tuesday. It's October 15th. This should be out later on today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this shit, and I hope y'all enjoy the content that I'm going to keep on uploading. You feel me? It's constant motherfucking content. It's constant motherfucking podcast. You know what I'm saying? Episode 109. Stay tuned. See y'all tomorrow. You hate me, don't you? 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 you, hate me, don't you? 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 You 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 hate me, don't you?